Hello friends, welcome to C Programming Tutorials. In this class, we are going to learn about standard library functions for files. So in previous class, we learned about the difference between text files and binary files. In this class, we are going to learn how to create so binary files and how to write data onto binary files and similarly how to read the data from binary files. I hope you all are understand the binary file is nothing but we are going to store the data in the form of blocks. The C language uses the block input and output functions to read and write data to binary files. The block read function is file read f read and write function is file write f write. In text file so by using f scanf function, f scanf function, we read the data from text files, and by using f printf, f printf function, we are going to write the data onto text files. So similarly, so how you are going to write the data onto binary files? How to read the data from the binary files means by using f read and f write. So f read function is used to read the data from the binary file. Similarly, f write function we are going to use to write data onto binary files. Now we see how to write the data onto binary file. So for that we are going to use f read function is used to read data from file. The syntax is f read. This function have four arguments. Four arguments. So first one is address of structure variable, next size of this structure variable and number of structure variables and file pointer. So for example, so there is a structure that contains three data values. For example, student number, student name and marks and the integer occupies four bytes, care occupies so 20, why because care has name of 20, so float marks 4 bytes, that means the total bytes is 28. So 28 bytes of memory is allocated for one variable, okay. So the first argument is address of structure variable, so that means if you create a variable, that address is specified here. And second one, size of structure variable, what is the size of the structure variable here, 28, so it indicates 28 bytes of memory. So number of structure variables. So for example, it is 1, 1 into 28. If I want to store 3 students data, then here I am going to specify number of structure variables are 3. And the file pointer. Okay. So example, F read Amberson S. So Amberson, Amberson S means address of structure variable. Size of S. So 1 means so how many variables? One variables. F means file pointer. Okay. So next function is F write. Is used to write data to file. Syntax is similar to F read only. You specify address of structure variable and size of structure variable and so number of structure variables and file pointer. Okay. So example. So F write. Amberson S, yes. size of S, yes. the number of variables are 1 and file pointer is FP. Okay. You all are understand that the F read function we are going to use to read the data from binary file. F write function we are going to use to write data onto binary files. Okay. So now we see one example. Here the purpose of the program is you are going to read the data from the keyboard. The data is student number, student name and marks. So now you are going to store this data as a binary file. Okay. So how? So for that first we are going to create one file pointer. So file pointer. So this is the file pointer. Let us assume this is the file pointer. So now so struct student s. Yes. So this is the structure and so s yes is the variable name. Student s. Yes. Now, so fp 
equals to f open what is a f open so by using this f open you are going to open a file so binary file dot txt now so this binary file dot txt is opened in primary memory and the name is so binary file dot txt and it is in wb that means binary file and it is in opened in write mode and the starting address is assigned to fp1010 okay so this is the structure student with size 28 bytes so so this is the structure so this is the s yes here okay so first four bytes for integer next 20 bytes for s name so next four bytes for marks that means this is for s number s name and this is for marks okay so the object is s here i hope you all are know these six statements so printf enter student number this displayed on monitor you enter for example 1 2 3 now 1 2 3 is stored in s dot s number so this is the 1 2 3 so similarly enter student name I enter Ravi that is stored in s dot s name. So similarly, I enter marks that is stored in s dot marks. So for example, I enter so 45.67. Okay. I hope you all know how to access the so structure elements using the variable. So last instruction f write. Now the purpose of the program is I want to write this data on the file binary file dot txt so i use f write ampersand yes so this is the address so for example the address is 2001 2001 size of s what is the size of s here 28 bytes so how many variables one variable and fp so this is the fp so 1010 now you take this data from 2001 to so 28 bytes and place in this binary file dot txt that means so 1 2 3 rabi and 45.67 stored in the form of binary okay now so this data is stored in secondary storage device okay so now we see how to read the data from binary file so how we can read the data from binary file by using f read function so now we see how to read the data from binary file so for that you are going to so we are going to modify the same program here in binary file.txt so this is the hard disk in this file so binary file.txt already we store 123 ravi 45.67 okay so now i want to read the data from this binary file how struct student yes that means one object is created yes so what is the size of this yes it is 28 bytes so first four bytes for student number so next 20 bytes for student name and last four bytes for marks okay so file fp so this is the fp fp equals to f open binary file dot txt rb i want to open a file binary file dot txt in read mode now so this file is opened in primary memory it stores like this one two three ravi 45.67 let us assume the starting address is one zero one zero so this one zero one zero is assigned to fp so next line f read ampersand yes so this is the yes i want to read the data from this fp what's the fp here 1010 so ampersand yes size of s what's the size of s 28 let us assume the address is 2001 that means 2001 comma size of s is 28 number of records 1 fp is 1010 now you are going to read the so 28 bytes of data from 1010 and place in this yes so what's the data here so 1, 2, 3, Ravi, 45.67 is stored in, yes. If I print percentage D, 
S dot S number. Now it prints 1, 2, 3 and monitor. So percentage S means Ravi is displayed on monitor. So percentage F marks means 45.67. It displays like this. Okay. We see exact output when we execute this program. So now we see how to create binary file. Here we are taking one structure student. For that we create a variable yes. Okay, now we are going to read the data from the keyboard and store the data as a binary file dot txt. Okay, so now this is the current working directory. If you observe that there is no so binary file dot txt. Now we execute this program. GCC program 78.c It's a warning, no problem. Dot slash a dot out. So enter student number, enter 1, 2, 3. Enter name, Ravi. Enter marks, 56.43. Okay. Now if you observe that a file is created, binary file dot txt. If you open this, the data is in binary form. Okay. So now we are going to see the program to read the data from this binary file. What is the binary file name here? Binary file dot txt. So this is binary file dot txt. I open this in read mode. Okay. So now we try to execute this program. GCC program 79.c dot slash a dot out. Okay. If you observe that student number 123, student name Ravi, student marks 56.4300. Okay. We read the data from binary file here. If you observe that. So this is the binary file dot txt rb. Okay. 